People is proud to present the fourth season of the 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, which is leading the way in advocating for technology that promotes financial inclusivity. Since 2020, we've profiled over 100 fintechs and our latest season is shining a spotlight on those breaking down digital barriers and transforming lives for the better. Well, more than 80% of the active population in East Africa is engaged in food production. Our culture, by so many ways, is a leading sector that helps in creating opportunities for employment, for making sure we live healthier and happier lives as individuals, and for ensuring that we have food as individuals of this global economy. The 40 Days for the Fintech Initiative is highlighting initiatives that are transforming millions of lives using financial technology. One of them is Hamway East Africa a fintech that is making use of affordable technology to serve more than 280,000 farmers across East Africa. I'm by the names of Otto Alvin Sam. I'm the coordinator to Oyam District Farmers Association. My name is Atim Fiona. I'm the general manager of Ashishmio Cooperative Society. My name is Stella Nambuya Lugalambi. Um, I'm my co-founder and managing director for Hamwe East Africa. Hamwe uh, was started in 2013. When we started Hamwe, our focus was to uh, work with farmers on advisory services. Hamwe products are, we have the ERP, the, board, the, the dashboard that actually uh, helps management of the different MBOs to be able to access all information, biodata for the farmers, their value chains, the suppliers that can supply in that location. That's one of our products. We call that my cop. Uh, our second product is Hamwe Pay. Hamwe Pay is our payment gateway that allows the farmers to be able to pay for products and also access their funds when they sell their production. Then the third platform we have is an order service. An order service is where they access different supplies. Uh, for example, the crop insurance, the tractor hire services, the agro dealers, uh, the suppliers for seeds. Then the last product is the collection for aggregated demand. The collection service also, they can access it using SMS. You can just SMS and say, my crop is ready. And then your addicto agent will come with the, and collect it because most of the suppliers want to have this, all these collections in one warehouse or in a satellite bulking center. Currently, uh, Hamwe is servicing about seven unions and under them we have primary cooperatives, about 728 primary cooperatives. We have profiled about 380,000 farmers. Oyam District Farmers Association is a member-based organization in Oyam, having over 7,000 farmers operating in 64 parishes and having about 206 groups working alongside with uh, 14 cooperatives in Oyam. We started uh, hearing about Hamo East Africa in 2019. Though we got uh, formally, uh, like, uh, we got an MOU with them in uh, 2020. That's when uh, they came in and then they helped, uh, helped us uh, profile our farmers, put into uh, making a digital kind of system for us that we are now enable we are now able to put all our farmers into a digital platform whereby they are able to do transactions digitally we work with uh, some of the biggest women groups uh, in 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 Lango sub region we're working with our church started in 1999 by 15 widows displaced women we start a small group. After that, men came in. In 2021, women came in. They start training the agents. After training the agents, agents went and trained the farmers in the village. Now we've not only stopped there, we've worked with um, uh, 840 groups in West Nile. West Nile, we found the cooperatives were not that many, so we ended up working with farmer groups. These farmer groups come together. Uh, most of them have more than one acre of land, and, and they make an association together. Not really legal, but as a farmer group. They have between 25 to, uh, to 35. So those 840 groups are over 30,000 farmers. We've also worked in southwestern Uganda, 
with about four or five cooperatives in Intungamo, in Kanungu, that actually work with the coffee and sorghum. At the beginning, uh, it was pretty a bit hard because uh, most of the farmers do not have systems whereby do not have smartphones. And this is a system which, uh, which uh, whereby to access it, you need like a phone. So basically, when we started engaging with it, it was only our agents who had the phones, the smartphones. So farmers would come in and then uh, engage using, would make transactions using the agents. But then when we requested Hamwe East Africa in partnership with MTN, they provided us with um, mini smartphones which were able to help farmers. They provided us with over 2,000 phones which were given to farmers uh, and was able to at least help these farmers access into the system and then make orders in regards to whatever they would want, like in terms of making orders for seeds, making orders for like other inputs, which was really highly helpful to our organization. At first, we had a, a membership of about 4,000. So due to this kind of engagement and access to inputs and also access to other markets within, we were able to increase our membership up to about 7,000 which was really a good initiative for us. By then, farmers, they were growing, they were having two to three acres. When Amen came in, they trained farmers how to use the chemical, how to use the improved seed. So they have raised to, from two acres to 10 acres. Most of the farmers, they have seen their life. And some, most of them, they have taken their children to school in a good school. Some of the challenges that we have got, of course, is the IT infrastructure. Uh, we also, uh, you find that some areas we totally don't have internet or internet is on edge. Some of the major challenges were actually network. Because when you see where, like where we come from, Oyam, deep there in Echeme, those some of those villages, you reach when actually there is no network. So the process of like, uh, engaging the farmer into the system would become a problem. We've been talking to the telecoms and they have really, uh, they have decided, they have actually acknowledged that there's a problem for this. Um, and uh, some of them are actually willing to put in capex to bring boosters in some of these areas. If we can show that we have about 5,000 farmers that would actually utilize internet in this area, uh, the telecoms in Uganda and in Rwanda have agreed to help improve on their capex so that we can have access to internet in those areas. Most of our farmers in the underserved area are actually digitally excluded. Before we, we financially include them, is it possible for them to also be digitally included so that the financial included services all and almost 90% work on internet? So if they can't have those infrastructures in place, then they will never be included financially. We first worked with 40 days uh, of fintech uh, some few years ago and uh, it was the best advertising we had ever got as a fintech. No one had actually ever taken time to listen to what we do and how we do it. We're actually still using uh, those links as promos for our company because we were given an opportunity that no one had given uh, fintechs before. Uh, you can find us at www.hamwe.org. Join us in this financial inclusivity revolution presented in partnership with Level 1 Project, Cyber PLC Academy, cross Select Technologies, Infitex, Ideation Corner, and the Modulo Foundation with generous support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Follow hashtag 40 days for the fintechs, hashtag Level 1 Project to learn more and get involved in creating a brighter financial future for all.